How you doing everyone? It's Kevin and I was out doing a video on some sassafras tea. I'm looking for some sassafras and uh, run across some, um, some trails. So we're going to take a mess of these centrales and we're going to cook them up. Uh, this is a pretty good mushroom. Uh, I've been picking them for a couple years now. I'm still learning the mushrooms. That's a hard thing to learn, but I'm still learning them. And I see a mess of them here. So I'm going to pick some and we're going to cook them up. Let me show you what they look like. See? They're small ones. But that's what we want. We're going to get some of these small ones. So we're going to give them a try and... Uh, maybe cook up some mushrooms but I'm really out here to make some uh, sassy frass tea I'm just looking for sassy frass I've seen some bigger trees but I'm just kind of looking for a small one so I get some root off of it okay I finally found some young sassy frass trees I'm gonna try to get some uh, roots off of them so I can make some tea so I'll show you what they look like now, we have a big one. Right here is a huge one. Let's see if we can get a picture of the leaf. Now, that is a uh, pretty big adult sassafras. But what we're looking for, what I'm looking for, as you notice around this rock, there's some right there. Those are sassy frass. You can see the leaf. Kind of look at the leaf on it. So that's got a good root. The only thing is, I don't like this big rock. Because you don't know if there's any snakes under it. We got some crevices down in there. Just want to be careful around these rocks. You may end up with a snake or two there. Let me see if I can just reach down in here maybe I can and I'll tell you what I got a digger in my backpack you could always tell sassy frass by its smell it has a distinctive smell almost smells like black licorice to me so I'm gonna look around here for a little better tree a little bigger but not too big not too small actually if I get at the base of one of these I probably could get some root off of them see we got some more sassy fresh trees here these are big ones. Got whole bunches of them. I'm gonna see if I could dig down and get some of the root off of one of these big ones. Okay. I'm working on this root right here. This, see, I could tell this is a sassafras by its leaves. By just looking at the root, the only other way you can tell is by smelling it. So I just wanna make sure that I get the right root. Because I'm going to be making some tea out of this. So I want a pretty decent portion of this root. So I'm just following that root down as far as I can. To get as much of that root as I can. This way there's no mistaking on what root that I'm digging out. I'm taking the sassafras root. I can see that it's sassafras. And I think I might have enough air if I could get it out of the ground. Now we know that's sassy for us. So we're going to try to make, I'm going to try to get another little piece of that out of it. I think we have plenty there. See 
a couple more plants up here. I'll keep this root off to the side. I'll get us another little hunk. I wanted to give you guys a good view of what the bark looks like on this tree. These are all sassy frass. This is a sassy frass. That's what the bark looks like. They're all through here. I'm gonna go find a nice leaf. Here's a good leaf. See, this is a little sassy frass coming off the roots. And if you follow these out, you should be able to get some smaller roots off of them plants to make you some tea. This place is just covered with them. So, that's a look at the bark on the tree. And I showed you a few leaves. I'll see if I can get some bigger ones up here in the top. That's what they look like. Three big bubbles on each leaf. And that's a big tree there. So there's plenty of roots to go around. Just look around at the base of them. Find some of them small ones. Dig down and find them roots. Dig you up a couple and make you some tea. All right, we got our roots. What I'm gonna do, it's got a bag here. I'm gonna throw these roots in the bag. I'm gonna dump a little water in here just to kind of rinse some of the dirt off of them. Dirt's not gonna hurt you. It's actually good for you. But we're gonna rinse some of the dirt off. Just get the biggest part of it off. We'll clean the root up pretty decent. Decent enough for me. Now, these roots, you can tell by the smell. It almost kind of reminds me of black licorice. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can get a little fire going here and make me uh, a cup of tea. I'm just going to take these roots and I'm going to smash them up. Just kind of fold them up. Just all we want to do is get them down in that cup. And that when you smash them, you kind of release some of the flavor out. Then we're going to put some water in here. Let's see. We'll do, uh, we'll do about 12 ounces. I think that should be good for that. I think that's around 12 ounces. So we're gonna we got a nice big rock right here I figure I get me a little fire going just enough to heat this up and get it boiling and then uh, we'll make us some tea now when I was over on the other ridge over there I found some apple an old dead apple tree so I figured uh, Hey, why not? We'll take some of this apple. This is old apple tree. I think it there was an old orchard over there. And they were all dying off. So I figured I'd take some of this apple and get me a little fire going here. I don't want a big fire. I think we're okay on this rock. Get us a fire going. bit windy today but as long as we keep this on this rock I think we'll be okay
We've got some little sassafras limbs here too. Hopefully, we can get some of this to go. You can see it's been a while since I built a fire out in the woods. Just keep it going. We'll get you guys back when we get a nice good fire going. Well, I got the little fire going pretty good and I got it right up against the side of the cup. Hopefully it's not getting too hot. This apple, I think is gonna be a good, uh, for my tea. So we got apple in there. A little bit of sassafras sticks here on the ground. We just want to bring it up to a boil and try to get some of them flavors out in that water. Well, we got a pretty good little boil going there. Going to go for just a minute or so after it starts boiling. Then we're going to make us some tea. You see it's starting to turn colors a little bit. It's not like your normal tea. It's not going to turn real dark color. But it's doing pretty good. Well, I think our tea's been on there long enough. Now, I know that handle's going to be hot. So, I'm going to take this lid off of here. Whew, it's boiling. It's boiling really good. So, I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to pour it real slow. So, the grounds go to the bottom. All the grounds, parts of the root, dirt, whatever's in there will go to the bottom. I might get a little root in there, but that's okay. okay I'm going to set that off to the side. Now, myself, I like a little bit of honey in my tea. So, I got me some honey here. I'm going to give it a nice little squirt of honey. Just a little drizzle of honey in there. Got my little spoons. Gonna stir it up. Now that's good. To be honest with you, yeah, I haven't drank it in a long time. When we were kids, we used to drink this tea all the time. But uh, it brings back a lot of old memories. So, I wanted to show you guys the view where I'm drinking my tea. It's a big old field, a lot of deer in this field. It's all the way around. I make some good tea. I'm going to sit here and eat a pack of crackers for breakfast and drink my sassafras tea. Such a beautiful morning. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.